Welcome back to Mixed Machines. On today's episode, we're going to be doing part two of building our M90 dual supercharger intake system. So, in this episode, we're going to be showing you how to where you modify the M90 superchargers and building the intake up to the carburetor. So, first, get a closer look at the supercharger. This is already the modified version because it's already completed the intake. And I'm going to show you and explain why we modified it and where we modified it at. Let's take a walk outside. And this is also a different generation of the M90 that we used. But this is on a... Now this is an SS Monte Carlo. Like you see. So, up here is the cone. The important part that goes to the engine. Gears that goes to the turbines or the fins inside. So up here is all important. So, bearing. And then right down... Like I see, has this a long tail, and all the air, all the small control stuff, PCV valves, aren't they? So we don't need any of that. So we cut all that off and go back inside. But pretty much that's still full connected, unmodified version. So as you saw, you need the cone and you need the supercharger part because that what creates the boost of the air. But everything back here was just extra excess, and then that they had to make for small control compliance and everything like that. So we got rid of all that. Cut it off flat. So we still have our bypass valve that goes right here. And then we cut everything else back there to make them a little shorter. That's what we did to modify. And then we made a new face mounting plate, welded it to it, to the supercharger, so it could easily bolt on the intake. And that goes up to our carburetor. And with that, I'm going to show you the process and everything, how we modify this and we built this. So let's get started. Now I understand these first two clips may be quite difficult for most people to watch. After all, we're cutting two superchargers and pieces. But, you do a little sped up video of cutting both superchargers at two different angles. And there we go. This is the first step. <laughs> Okay, after we cut them, we had to both make sure they are even and same height. So we used the mill to do a surface cut on both, the same height and everything. There's a little video of us doing that.
All right, after we gave it a little buzz cut, you see it's getting fit up now. Line really lined up for its new mounting plate. We're going to drill holes into and make new bolting where our intake's going to bolt to. Okay, after we made sure that new base plate lined up correctly, we'd clean up all the superchargers, clean them up all the edges, prep them up all for welding, and then we proceeded to weld them all up. After we realigned everything, and then, then we weld them all together. And that is our supercharger's almost done. This is it all finished welded. See everything's all nice welded up. Now we gotta do is machine it again and then drill our holes.
and then put our tap for our bolts. But very nice weld, very well done. <laughs> Okay, so now we're on the final part of modifying the supercharger. Now you see, now with the last part here, what we're doing with the CNC machine is it's going to drill and tap the bolt holes. As you do four holes, it's going to take about four minutes. And I'm going to leave it in real time so you can see the whole entire machine actually moving in action. And this is a pretty big CNC machine, so you see it just swapped out its bits and it's coming down ready to mark the holes. And it's going to drill them out, and then it's going to tap it. So enjoy.
with that last clip over. Now we're going to move on and building our intake. So, see, we got the cutting table and we're going to cut all the plate first. Okay, we finished cutting the plates out, so now we're going to move on to breaking them. We're bending them. So we're going to have a super sped up video of us bending all the little plates and brackets that we need to bend. And there we go. Now we are setting up the lower half of the carburetor intake, intake that goes from the carburetor to the superchargers. So we have the two plates screwed onto the back of the superchargers. You can see what they were. This is super speed up. But so then they have the two elbows there. Watch it. Well, we cut from the bigger pipe down. And then that plate that you see that we're sanding out right now is our bottom. Is the bottom. But unfortunately, I didn't film any uh, 
welding of it. So you'll see we get it all set up in there, get it all set exactly where it's right, get our pipe set into it and everything, and get it all set up. And then we welded it, tacked it all together, put the front piece on it, tack that in, and bracket, and then we fully weld it up, and I'm going to show you after it's all welded, well, after it's fully welded, what it looks like. This is the bottom half of the intake, completely all finished, welded together. So you pick it up. So you have the two plates there that were mounted onto the superchargers, welded into our tubes. That goes up to our little U-boat deal. Now you can see now it's all welded on together. Everything's all solid. And now we're gonna weld on the top. Okay, so this is the final two pieces of our intake. It is the top where the carburetor is mounted to, and the other half the top. That makes it nice and sealed. So we're gonna put them on, get them all tacked in, and then completely weld it. And that would be our intake all done.
And with this last little bit coming up here, this is the 360 view of our finished intake. There you see, two doors do go down to the both superchargers, car single carburetor up top. Everything's all welded and done. The only thing now is to polish it and make it real shiny. And with that, that is the final piece of the puzzle. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and like always, please like, subscribe, and comment. Send the video to a friend, make them watch it too. Everything is greatly appreciated, and it greatly helps me out, whatever you do. And thank you again for watching.